Hey, calm down. Listen, yesterday I had seen some dark chocolate into your fridge. So you just eat some chocolate and call me after eating. Okay? Yeah, sure. All right. Ah, hey, I was talking to my best friend and he is very angry for some reasons. So I told him to eat some chocolate because it will make him calm. Oh, maybe you are thinking that how could chocolate reduce someone's anger, right? So guys, in this video, I would talk about some food that can change your mood. And the food experts call those food as mood food. So let's get started. Dr. Paul Clayton, a food expert says, the brain is affected by what you eat and drink, just like the other part of your body. Certain types of food contain substances that affect your feeling and also your thinking. For example, food which is high in carbohydrates can make us feel more relaxed. That's why after eating rice, we feel sleepy. And also, carbohydrate can make us feel happy. Research has shown people on diets often begin to feel a little depressed after two weeks because they are eating fewer carbohydrates. Rice, bread, potatoes, cookies and different types of desserts are the major source of carbohydrates. All of us should eat the appropriate amount of carbohydrates according to our diet plan. For relaxation and to sleep better, eat carbohydrates. Now. Let's focus on protein because food which is rich in protein makes us feel awake and focused. Research has shown that school children who eat a high protein breakfast do better at school than children whose breakfast is lower in protein. And also eating the right kind of meal can make a difference if you have a business meeting or an exam where you have to take some important quick decisions so before your exam or interview or a business meeting you must eat pretentious food such as lean chicken lean beef eggs milk nuts etc trust in yourself you can make the right decisions if you eat properly food expert says the food which is high in protein that helps your brain to work more efficiently Another powerful mood food could become a secret weapon against stress, pain, and crime. That's why I told my friend to eat some chocolate. Now, let me tell you a short story. Bournemouth, a city in England where late night violence can be a problem. So the nightclub owners come up with a solution. They give their client free chocolates at the end of the night. The results have been dramatic with a 60% reduction in violent incidents. So why does chocolate make people less aggressive? Firstly, it causes the brain to release feel-good chemicals called endorphins. Endorphins are chemicals produced by our body to relieve stress and pain. And also chocolate contains sugar that will give you energy can help stop the late night tiredness turning into aggression. These two things together with a delicious taste makes chocolate the powerful mood changer. So if you are in trouble with someone and you are very stressed and angry, don't fight, eat a chocolate. And also there is a saying, for every minute you remain angry, you give up 60 seconds of peace of mind. Another powerful mood changer drink is tea. The really amazing fact about tea is just one cup can reduce your stress levels and improve your mood. In America, more than 158 million cup of tea are consumed daily. Scientists have found that theanine is present in teas, which acts as an antidepressant and also a natural stress reliever. Also, adding some ginger in your tea will also greatly lift your spirit. And you know what? Tea is the second most consumed beverage in the world. Who doesn't like coffee, right? 
coffee is the world's most popular drink and it may make the world a bit happier too. Estimated 2.25 billion cups of coffee are consumed daily globally. The caffeine in coffee prevents adenosine from attaching to brain receptors that promotes tiredness. In the brain, adenosine is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. In normal condition, it promotes tiredness and sleep. As caffeine prevents adenosine from attaching to the brain receptors, therefore coffee increases alertness and attention. So you can work 2-4 to four hours extra. Another thing about coffee is it acts as an anti-stress substance due to release of dopamine and serotonin, which trigger good mood. If you are stressed, then you need a cup of coffee right now. As coffee reduces stress, so the good fact about coffee is drinking between 2-4 to four cups of coffee daily can reduce the risk of suicidal tendency in both male and female by 50%. That's because coffee reduces stress level and depression. Finally, coffee is not only boost or improve your mood and productivity, but also it improves your working memory. Oh, my friend is calling. I know he is fine now. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Stay well and goodbye.